All right, today we have an entire episode devoted to the phrase, blowing it out of the water. Which has come to mean a kind of overwhelming victory against the enemy, right? Exactly right. But first, we're actually going to test the literal meaning of the myth, which comes from submariners from World War II. Apparently, occasionally, when they sent a torpedo toward a ship, they would watch that ship blow completely out of the water instead of blowing up. How epic are we going to take this? I figure we got to get pretty epic with it. Cool. And to find out just that, the Mythbusters are starting in miniature. So, we're going to start with this beautiful tank. It is large enough for us to detonate our miniature explosives. Oh, cool. And our boat, which still needs a little bit of work. <laughs> OK, from halfway down the tank, three, two, one. <laughs> well, our breach tank notwithstanding, that last test was beautiful as it explodes. You can see this perfect sphere of fire expand, and as it's expanding, pushes the boat literally out of the water. It was exactly what we were looking for. Oh, that boat is going straight up. It's lifting it beautifully. It made it at least to the rim of the at tank. At least to the rim of the tank. That's significant. Adam and Janie's small scale tests. Go. showed that a mid-depth boom could lift a ship up and out. It's lifting it beautifully. But can they repeat this feat when they go large? And it's in pit 232 that we're going to put this boat along with a buttload of explosives and see if we can't blow it out of the water. <laughs> That's a lot of steel. And she's in. The team tows the bomb to the boat before sinking it to a depth of 30 feet, exactly midway between the bottom of the hull and the bottom of the lake. Then it's go time. It's all ready to go. Underwater explosion in three, two, one. That was astonishing. What a geyser. We did blow the boat out of the water, but there is no more boat. I think technically what we did was we separated the boat into hundreds of little pieces, which we then blew out of the water. Yeah, that works. OK. I figured what actually happened here was really quite simple. When the bomb went off, it created a bubble of rapidly expanding gas, which eventually made its way to the surface of the water, where the boat was. Now, that opened effectively a conduit through which all of that energy could flow, where it can follow a path of least resistance. And that happened to be straight up right through the bottom of that boat. And that's why it was so destructive. So the way I see it, unless the boat this is happening to is incredibly strong, there's no Goldilocks formula of amount and placement of explosive that is going to gently lift it out of the water. And so as far as I'm concerned, it's not looking good for the myth. 